Hello and welcome to the video. In this video, we will go through step 13, margins and paddings of this SAP UI5 walkthrough documentation. Up until now, we have seen that uh, our SAP UI5 application is basically glued to the corners of the screen. Now, to fine tune this layout, we will add margins and paddings uh, to the controls which are placed inside our UI5 application. Just to give you an uh, overview of how the application uh, will look after this step, uh, we'll just compare the application look and feel uh, with what it used to look up until step number 12. So this is how the our application used to look uh, till the last step. Uh, we can see that the controls are glued to the corner of the screen, as well as the controls are uh, very much adjacent to each other and there is no spacing uh, between the controls. After making the code changes for uh, these steps and uh, after adding padding and margins, this is how the application will look like. You can see that uh, our controls are more centered on the screen and uh, they have some uh, consistent spacing uh, between the controls. Now coming to the code changes which are needed for this step, we only have to make changes to our app.view.xml file. The first change is uh, we need to add this class SAP UI responsive margin to our panel control and uh, set the width of our panel control to auto. What this class will do is that uh, it will add a responsive margin around the panel control. We have to set the width of the panel control to auto so that uh, whatever space is uh, added around the panel control does not exceed the page size. As you can see that the name of the class is SAP UI responsive margin. So this takes care of the responsive behavior of uh, adding margin uh, around our control. Therefore, if the screen size is less, say for example, if the screen size is of a tablet or a mobile phone, the uh, margin which will be added around this control uh, will be of a lesser size. Whereas if the screen size is more, then uh, more margin would be added around this control. These margins can be added on any of the controls uh, which we can use in our uh, XML view. So now we will add uh, this SAP UI small margin end class to our button control. What this will do is that uh, it will add a space between the button and uh, the input control which we have placed next to the button control. Another change which we have done is that uh, we have introduced this text control here adjacent to our input control. This text control will basically display uh, whatever uh, text user inputs uh, in the input control. So we have uh, replaced the uh, description of the input control with this text control. Now in this text control, we have added uh, this class SAP UI small margin, again to introduce a small space between the input control and uh, the text which will be displayed adjacent to the input control. Now, if we run this application after making these changes, this is how the application would look like. And you can compare, this is how the application used to look uh, earlier before making these changes. So you can see that our panel control has some space around it, which has been introduced by this class, SAP UI responsive uh, margin. So earlier there was no space around our panel control. Then there is a space after our button control. So this space is between the button control and the input control, which is basically coming from this class, SAP UI small margin end. And we have also in introduced a space uh, between our input control and the text control, which is displaying uh, the text of the input control. So that's it for this video for step number 13. In the next video, we'll go through step 14 and uh, discuss about custom CSS and theme colors. Thank you for watching the video and have a nice day.